Tuesday. So today we got four blocks for you. The first one being kind of like a little bonus warm up. Uh, four exercises, 45 seconds a piece for two laps. The next three blocks are all set the same. Four exercises a piece, each one on the minute for two rounds. So uh, first block you're going to be body weight. Second block is going to be a kettlebell base. So if you have a kettlebell perfect, if you don't, all of these exercises can be modified with a dumbbell. It will look similar and slightly different on this one. Uh, and then on the third block, you're going to want to set a dumbbell score. And that fourth block will go back to body weight. So crew, without further ado, let's talk about this first block. We start with Everest opener. So you're in that plank position. Core is nice and engaged. You set that foot as close up to the hand as you can. Open up. Right back down, back to that plank, and pick it back up. Again, you can always rest on those knees as we go through this. We're just trying to open up those hips and that spine. That takes us to the animal squat. We're in that plank position. Feet can be wide apart for that base support. Sit those hips straight back, coming right forward. Again, engaging in that core. We then actually do need down the <laughs> We go into that lateral halo, so you hold that weight in front. We give ourselves that lateral lunge. When we come up, we go around the head with that weight. And then we switch sides around the head with that weight. Again, dumbbell or kettlebell work for that halo. And then we just got jumping jacks for 45. Again, we got that two times through. So let's go ahead and get ready with our equipment. And we start off with those Everest steps. Again, 45 seconds crew. Let's pick it up in three, two, and one. Everest step. If we get that plank position, core nice and tight, step it up. Open through that spine, right back down. You're gonna make sure shoulder stays over wrist. Core is engaged, we're just opening through that body, warming it up. We're looking good here. In about 10 seconds, we're going to the animal squat. Let's get ready. We've got animal squats in three, two, and one. Sit straight back in those hips, coming forward, that plank. We'll use that core nice and tight. Again, this is warming up. Shoulders, hips, quad, whole shebang. That goal is to not let those feet move around on you. Try to keep those hips and shoulders in line. We got about 15 in that lateral lunge halo. Again, if you need a dumbbell or kettlebell when we get there. Let's do a lateral lunge halo in three, two, and one. From that side to the lunge position. We go in that halo and then we switch sides and switch sides. Remember that halo you want to get as close to your face as you can without hitting it. Just open up through those shoulders. It is already super toasty outside. Ten seconds and get into the German jacks. In three, two, and one, jumping jacks. Again, you can always jack it out, or if you need to, you can step and tap that foot out. And then, crew, we got one more lap. Solid, just warm up the body a little bit. 15, go back to those Everest openers. Okay, through. We got that Everest opener in three, two, and one. Hit that plank. Open it up. Keeping that core tight. 
Find that control. Opening up the hip. Shoulder. And spine. We got just about 10 seconds of that animal squat. Get ready for animal squats in three, two, and one. Sit back, we're right back up. Now we're trying not to take that chin. We want that nice neutral spine as we go.
And you have to remember you're not squatting into it. It's coming from those hips, not those knees. We've got that clean to press coming up. And three, two, and one, clean to press. So using that kind of hinge back, snap it up, press overhead, control it down, drive it down. Again, using those hips and that shoulder shrug to help you get it up. Press overhead. It's that gentle wrap around your arm, not a slap. Let's get ready to switch sides in three, two, one. Switching sides. Hinge it back. Snap it up. Now I know that my left arm can be a little weird on me, so I'm really going to focus on that form. So you notice that one side is a little easier to move than the other. Totally normal. Here in 10, we go in that single arm low row. Good switch side, single arm low row. Hinge it back, core is tight. Drive up, control that way down. Again, that opposite arm is along my low back. So I can keep that spine straight, shoulder dog back. Same thing, weights in those heels. We switch sides in three, two, one, switching sides. Looking good. You can find that control with that kettlebell. We got just 15. Let's get ready. We got those lunges. I'm going to switch sides again in three, two, and one. I'm going to go for my reverse lunge. You know, we say to a forward one, it kind of feels better. What we're aiming for, chest proud, sitting down in those hips, weights in that front heel. Looking good. We switch sides here in three, two, one. Switch sides. Solid crew. We're gonna repeat this whole thing one more time at the end. We got 15 to the swings. Keep that wrist nice and tight. Let's get ready through those kettlebell swings in three, two, and one. Kettlebell swings. Hinge it back, snap it up. Again, none of these exercises should be triggering that low back. If it is, I want you to reduce that range of motion, bring that belly button in that spine, and really hold that core together. Looking solid crew, we got 30 down, 30 until that clean to press. Looking good, 15, hang on to it crew. Crew, we got that clean to press. In three, two, and one. Hinge in those hips, drive it up, press it overhead, control, come back down. Nice and solid, shoot those hips back, power it up. Crew. Let's get ready to switch sides in three, two, one. Switch in sides. Again, that gentle roll around that wrist. And then we power it overhead. Looking good. 
good here. Let's get ready for that single arm low row. In three, two, and one. Single arm low row. Core is nice and tight. In that focus now on that upper back. We should not be feeling that lower back. That's part of why that back arm is there. So really let us engage that core. Focus on that neutral spine. On the switch sides in three, two, and one. Switching sides. We got one more exercise for that break. Give me those lunges. Keep that tempo, meaning that we feel that muscle working. And we get ready for lunges. In three, two, and one. Let's lunge. We're gonna keep that wrist tight. Same thing goes back as the weight, as on the side of the weight. I promise I have a cup of coffee. We're looking solid, we got 15. Let's get ready to take it to the other side. In three, two, one. Switch the sides. We got just 15. Get ready for that break in three, two, and one. Let's take that break. Cleanse so our kettlebell round. No, you start with that dumbbell round. So, let me start with that squat to upright row. Feet are gonna be a little bit wider. I like my palms facing in as I squat down. When I drive it up, my palms now face me. Take high elbows on the upright row, right back down, and that weight travels right along the body. Common fault, people will shrug, and they keep that shoulder blade down back. From there, we're gonna go in that split press. During that split position, if my right leg is back, loading that right arm, I drive up as I press, and I control it nice and slow on that way down. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. We then flip it onto our back for that double crunch, where we're gonna have that weight overhead, legs out. We drive it up, squeeze elbows and knees together, control it back out. Remember options here, just give me that sit up. If you can't bring those elbows and knees together or no weight at all, you're gonna be your best effort. Last exercise, we're gonna go into that Russian twist. Heels on the ground, shoulder blades back, core is tight. We're gonna go side to side, working again, feeling that core. Keep those shoulder blades pinched together that whole time. We get everything on the minute. We got two laps here. Without further ado, let me clear that timer, grab those weights, get ready, squat to upright row, in three, two, and one. Here we go. Feet a little bit wide, sit down that squat, drive up for the upright row, just like chicken wings, with those high elbows, shoulders down back. Love it through palm and pulse. People like to look down at the ground when they squat. Hey, hey. Keep that chest up. Pass that halfway mark. Let's get ready here in about 15. We take that split press. Remember, if you can't go all the way to the ground on the split press, you're going to give me your best effort with the reverse lunge. Ooh. We got split presses in three, two, one. Split press. Take it back again if you can't get to the ground. Give me that reverse lunge. We press it up. Control down as far as we can towards that ground. And you should not feel like your knees try to come in as you're going down. Really keep those knees out apart from each other. Ooh. 
to find that balance. Don't fall over. We're going to switch sides here in three, two, and one. Switch inside. Press it up. Control it down. Looking good. Next exercise, give me that double crunch here in 15. Let's get ready for that double crunch in three, two, and one. Double crunch. Again, you can always do this without any weight or just using that upper torso. If you want to keep those legs down. Otherwise, we're trying to squeeze that core in the center. Come up on 15 for that Russian twist. That core should be feeling nice in a week about now. Turn it sitting up. We got that Russian twist in three. Two and one. Shoulder blades back. Twist in it out. Look in solid here. Remember, if you do lift those feet, but your feet are moving around a lot, that means we're not using the core, we're using hip flexors. So either reduce that range of motion, step a little taller, or keep those heels on the ground. Really focus. Using that core. And squeeze them get to the side. Also notice how I'm not dropping my weight below my shoulders. They're staying in line. Allows you to really focus on getting that core. Tell you what, here in about 10 seconds, we got squat to upright row, round number two. Let's pop it up, squat to upright row. In three, two, and one. Squat to upright row. Feet nice and wide. We sit down and drive it back up. Looking solid crew. Can we do all this just one more time before that break? seconds until that foot press. Love it, just 15. Ooh. Let's get ready for that split press in three, two, and one. In that right position, drive it up, control it down, keeping that knuckle flat when we drive it up, like you're punching the ceiling. Looking good, keeping that shoulder down back. Let's get ready to switch sides in three, two, and one, switching sides. Working solid. Find that balance. That's more note to myself. <laughs> Taking two days off straight this last weekend, killing me today. But I definitely needed it. So you're gonna treat your body well. Take time off when you need it. Same time off, time for double crunch in two and one. Let's double crunch. Drive it up and squeeze, extend back out. Remember, you can always keep those heels on the ground and just use that upper torso if you need it.
30 seconds. We're looking solid. Here in 15, we go to that Russian twist. Two. Let's get ready, crew. We got Russian twist for that final minute before that break. In three, two, and one. Shoulder blades back. You're going to how far back you lean. You can increase that intensity. Just make sure you're feeling the core and not those hip flexors as we go. Good. If you need to, you can always ditch the weight. And so the shoulder blades together, looking good for 30 seconds. Come up to the last 15. Ooh. Crew, we're getting that break here in three, two, one, take that break. Ooh. We got one more block. It's mainly body weight. So let's go ahead and talk about it. We got the first exercise is that bear step where we get onto all fours, keeping that shoulder over wrist, knees at 90. And we're just going to tap it forward, tap it back. So that looks like shoulder over wrist, knees at 90, core tight, off the hand, off the foot, taking it back, switching sides. Notice how I'm not popping up my butt or having long legs. Rather, I always hit that 90 degree for that start end. We then stand up for that single leg deadlift. You can hold that weight as an option. One leg stays down, and then from my head to my heel, it's like I'm trying to be a paintbrush with that straight line. You drive it back all the way up. And if you need that slight bend in the elbow or that knee, you can always do that. We then take it down for that side plank leg lift. Shoulder is directly over that elbow, core is tight. We lift that leg, control down. Option here, bend that bottom knee, lift up that body. And lastly, we got one called the tabletop. So you start in that bear position, right? You're on the toes, like that kick through. Opposite hand, opposite foot, but I'm gonna actually land on them. Then I'm gonna kick that opposite leg, opposite hand through, and now I'm back into that bear step. I'm gonna have to go back the way I came. And I should get back into my start position. If the tabletop is too much for you, try just that kick through that we've done, right? Opposite arm, opposite leg, or just focus on that rotation, whether it just be upper or lower torso. So now that we know what's going on, let's get ready for the final eight minutes. We start with that bear step in three, two, and one. On all fours, lift it up, off your hand, off the toe tap, and right back. Keep that core engaged. Make sure you breathe. Looking solid crew. Now if you can see your back, make sure you're not rounding. Rather keep shoulder blades down back. Hips in line with those shoulders. Less than 30 to go. Looking solid. Here in 10, we go to that single leg deadlift. Let's take it up in three, two, one, single leg deadlift. Head to heel, nice flat line, core tight, you drive it up. Again, I can always hold that weight if I want to. Hooped up. The other thing, keeping those hips square as opposed to rotating out. Whew. I'm going to struggle with balance today. Oh boy. There we go, that was better. Let's switch sides in two, one, switch sides. We're going to try and go head to heel in one straight line, not bending in the hips or the knees. Look 
solid crew. Here in 10 seconds, we're going to take it up into that side plank leg lift. Two, and three, two, and one. Side plank leg lift. Shoulder over that elbow. Lift it up. Remember, you can always be on that bottom knee. We're lifting high with those obliques. Looking good, crew. We're going to switch sides in three, two, one. Switching sides. Lifting up. Core is nice and tight. We got that super exciting tabletop coming up next. Ooh. Here we got just three, two, one, and tabletop. So again, if I'm on all fours, I kick through and land. Now I'm in that bridge, kick through and land, I'm back to bear. Going opposite and opposite. Remember, if you need to, just kick those legs or just rotate that torso. Find what works for you. That was wrong. Remember, we always keep that leg through, arm over, leg under, arm over. It's always leg under, arm over. Say that to yourself, especially if you confuse yourself. We got just 15, so we'll go back to that very step. In three, two, one, back into that bear step. Core is tight. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Looking solid here. Last round of exercises today. Halfway. Coming up to 15. Crew, we got that single leg deadlift in three, two, and one, single leg deadlift, focusing head to heel, one straight line. Again, you can hold on to that weight if you want. Okay, looking good. Keep that straight line. We're going to be switching sides here. In three, two, one, switching sides. So you want here we got about 15. Here we go on that side plank, leg raise. Let's get ready to take down. Side plank, leg raise, three, two, and one. Side plank, leg raise. Ooh. Okay, you can always go down to that knee if you need it. Still lifting with those obliques, squeezing that core. Nice line, head to heel. Let's get ready from side in two. One, switching sides. Looking solid, crew.
here in 15. We go on that tabletop last time. Last minute of work. In three, two, one, and tabletop. Last time through. Leg under, arm over. Leg under, arm over. Whew. Full minute here, crew. Keeping that body moving. Always ending with that 90. Shoulders over wrists. Okay. Coming about 30 seconds. Last 15. Keeping that body going. Ooh. Looking solid, crew. We got just three, two, and one. You're done. Whew. Well, thank you guys 